Hello and welcome to the Bob Zoo Sea Lion Feeding Demonstration. During the program, we will be sharing some information about our sea lions and our work with these exciting animals. Adult male and female sea lions are easy to tell apart. Males, called bulls, can weigh over 700 pounds. Females are called cows, and they weigh less than half as much as a male, about 200 to 300 pounds. Sea lions can be found around the world from the tropics to both poles. These are California sea lions, which specifically live along the Pacific coast from British Columbia to Mexico and around the Galapagos Islands. Sea lions belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds. The word pinniped means wing-footed and refers to their flippers. This group includes walruses, true seals, and eared seals. Sea lions are in the eared seal family. Most people know what a walrus looks like, and you can see walrus at our New York Aquarium in Brooklyn. But it's very common for people to confuse sea lions and seals. Do you know how to tell the difference between true seals and eared seals? Here are a few hints on how you can tell them apart. Look at the sea lion's head. They have small external ears called pinnae. These are the small flaps of skin you can see on the sides of their heads. You won't see these on seals. Sea lions have long front flippers, which they can use to pull themselves through the water, just as we use our arms to swim. Sea lions are also able to rotate their back flippers under their bodies in order to walk on land. Seals need to use their whole bodies to move on land and look something like a giant caterpillar. While sea lions are able to move around well on land, they are designed for spending a large amount of their life in the water. Their bodies are smooth and torpedo shaped, and this streamlining allows them to move easily through the water, even reaching speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Blubber is another important part of sea lion survival. This special fat layer provides energy, buoyancy, and insulation. In the winter, they eat more and build up their blubber layer. In the summertime, their appetites are reduced and they use up the extra blubber that is not needed in the warm summer months. Feeding time with our sea lions gives the keepers a chance to work on training, which is a very important part of how we care for our animals. But don't worry if some of the animals decide to skip a meal. Sometimes they're just not hungry, and our sea lions never have to worry about when their next meal will arrive. Young sea lion pups do not eat fish. Because they are mammals, sea lions nurse their young. And if any of our pups are still nursing, you may see this shortly after the females finish their meal. We do sea lion training for many reasons. It gives us an opportunity to get a closer look at our animals and monitor their physical health. Training is also important for their mental health as it gives the sea lions tasks to do and challenges to think about. By training the sea lions to station themselves in different areas of the pool during feeding, the keepers are able to make sure everyone gets their share. They watch what each animal eats and exactly how much. And having sea lions comfortable with this routine can also help in case we ever need to give one of them medication. In the wild, sea lions feed on squid, octopus, herring, sardines, and other fish. Here, we feed herring and capelin, which the sea lions will usually swallow whole and head first. Each sea lion eats between 6 to 35 pounds of fish each day. The amount they eat depends on the individual, with bigger sea lions eating more, and depends on the seasons. Sea lions eat more during the fall, so they can gain weight and blubber for the cold winter ahead. Sea lions are very intelligent and capable of learning a variety of behaviors. We work on training a combination of natural behavior and husbandry behaviors. Natural behaviors include anything the sea lion might do in the wild, such as vocalizing or diving. Husbandry behaviors include activities that allow keepers to manage, position, and examine the sea lions. Opening their mouth, raising a flipper, or laying down on the beach are all behaviors that help us get a better look at the sea lions to make sure they stay in good health. 
You may see the key to practicing other medical behaviors, like ultrasounds or injection training for vaccines. Some behaviors are more about having fun and are trained to further challenge the sea lions to think and act. Sea lions are naturally curious and playful, so the keepers may also use items like balls and tubes during the training sessions. Today, California sea lion populations in the wild are stable, but there are other sea lion species that are in trouble, and marine mammals in general could use our help. The Wildlife Conservation Society is working to save wildlife and wild places around the world. One way you can help marine mammals like sea lions is to be aware of the fish and seafood that you are eating. Make wise choices that will be less harmful to ocean wildlife. To learn more, visit us online at wcs.org, bronxzoo.com, like us on Facebook. We hope you have enjoyed your time with the sea lions, and thank you for visiting with us today, and we look forward to seeing you back again soon.